You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox from Carol OS. That was Father John Misty, Mr. Tillman, and before that was Jimi Hendrix, Bold as Love. We're here with my guest, Phil Rosenfall. How are you? I'm great. How are you? It's nice to be here with you. Yeah? Yeah. You're very positive. Nobody's ever said that? A few people. Oh. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Life is good. You live in L.A., right? I do now. From New York. For 30 years I've lived here. So half my life I've lived here. So you're 60? Oh, well, I'm 58. Are you? Yeah. I'm 63 next month. Wow, you look pretty good. Look pretty good. Thank yeah. you. I always tell people I'm 83, and so they say I look great. Fantastic. I need to lose a few pounds. Who doesn't? That's why I could never do your job. You could, because you'd adapt. You, you, the whole key to doing my job is you pick your spots. And I'm only really eating in the scene that you see that day, yeah. right? So if, the, if we film for 10 days, and yes, I'm eating every scene, but you're seeing 10 days condensed into an hour. So every scene right. I'm eating, but if you see that scene, that's usually all I ate that day. Oh. Right. Have you done anything in England? Uh, not yet. Um, the, if we get picked up, uh, that's first stop is London. You've got to go. Yeah. Trust, You'll come with trust me. Trust me on this. No, no. Why I ain't not? no interest in going there. You don't like it? It's too far. That's another reason I could never do what you do. I can't stand You don't like to travel? travel. No. Well, I'm here to change your mind. You're going to hypnotize me? Yeah. Look into my eyes, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, that you got to go to a pie and mash shop. They was created in the 40s. Yeah. And what it is, they're like old school. Only in London. Yeah. They're called pie and mash shops. It's a mint. It's a meat pie. Yeah. With mashed potato, yeah, and this stuff called liquor, which is potato water and parsley sauce. That's all they sell, and jelly deals, and that's all they sell. Yeah, you make it sound so good. It is fa I, if I went back there, if I was a vegan, I'd break my veganism. If Just I went to back do there. it. Is there one in particular that you that is better than the others? They're they're a dying breed. Yeah, Manzies is like there's a chain of Manzies mm -hmm. is the name of them. There's one in Tower Hill, near, yeah. near, near, near the uh, Tower Bridge. There's one in Chapel Market in Islington. Yeah. Uh, there, there was one that I used to go to, uh, me and the drummer in the Sex Pistols, yeah. which was in Gold Oak Road, Road in Shepherd's Bush. Right. And they shot a few mo movies there. You, would you, f do you ever see Quadrophenia? Sure. The, do you remember it? Like the scene with, when they come out, the, 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 they were having a bath, One's a rocker, one's oh, yeah. a mod, yeah. and they come out of there and they meet at the pie and mash Oh, yeah, I gotta go. We we well that one's gone. Oh, unfortunately, so I won't that, go there. That, that 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 died like a little while ago, <laughs> got bought out. But there's there's better ones. Okay, I'm telling you, man, I'm turning you onto something. I love it, pie and mash up, everybody. Pie and mash up. Remind me, I'm yeah. going. Okay. All right, but you don't. You'll never go again. Is that what you're telling me? I, I've got. You're 63. You're done. I've got no interest in going back there. I don't There's, like jet lag. Okay, but listen. When was the last time you were there? 2008. Do you know how the food scene has improved since then? Y yeah. It's I a world-class food city, London. It's absolutely great. It used to be the shittiest food in the world. Well, you know we're live. Oh, sorry. It used to be the crappiest food in the world. Yeah. Now, it's amazing. When was you there? Uh, a few weeks ago for fun uh, uh, and maybe a little research for upcoming things. Yeah, but I'm telling you anything you can think of and high quality. Well, it's very this, cosmopolitan. There yes. Now. When you were growing up, it was probably after World War II. There was ha they were having rations for one yes, thing. And every all the vegetables came in a can. Right. Yeah. So it took till maybe 20 years ago before they started saying, hey, wait a minute, we can grow stuff again. Yeah. And everything changed. Everything yeah. changed. I mean, some of the best restaurants in the world are now in London. It's worth going just for the food. Yeah. Really? Really? Come and meet me. Do a scene with me. Uh, You'd have a good time. Can't you do a scene here? I did it. I did the LA episode. What do you think of food in America in general? I think it's amazing. But I, I want to tell you Two things. One, I think the food everywhere on earth now is better than it used to be because of the internet. A kid in the middle of Iowa can see what a chef in Paris is doing and emulate it and use indigenous ingredients. Like, like when people from China come 
to Los Angeles. Yeah. And we have the largest Chinese population in the world outside of China in the San Gabriel Valley. Do you ever go there? Or is that too far also? San Gabriel Valley? Yeah. You mean the valley? Well, the San Gabriel Valley is not the San Fernando Valley. The San Fernando Valley is Burbank and all that. But this is the San Gabriel Valley is 10 minutes east of downtown L.A. Okay. You can visit every province of China by going to the different neighborhoods in the San Gabriel Valley. See, you don't need to travel. Well, you do. You still got to go there. But I'm saying you can travel in your own hometown. And I want to say that L.A., because of this, has the best food in America right now. The best food scene in America is here because we have the biggest populations of people outside their native countries in the world. Yeah. The Korean, right? The Mexican, the, the Japanese, the, the, the Chinese. It's, it's phenomenal. So the people from China who come here, now they're exposed to the produce that we have in Southern California. And that goes into their food. And in some cases, it's better than what they left behind in China. But ain't there a lot of processed food still around? The bulk of the world eats, I mean, in America, eats well, processed yes. food. Well, that's a terrible thing because that now infects Europe and Africa and everywhere else. Right. You know, McDonald's is not good for you. Anyone will tell you that. But, man, you can eat very, very well if you just are a little bit uh, discerning. Yeah. What's your favorite meal? Oh, goodness. I think my favorite thing in life to do is eat in Italy. Yeah. You've I'm, done it? I'm, well, I, there's, a, there's a restaurant that I go to on, yes. on Little Santa Monica and Roxbury Drive called Da Pasquale. Oh, I don't know it. It's a family business. It, the, the, the wife is the cook. Uh, the old man is like the maitre d', his son. But it, it's, it's the best you can get really? without going to Italy. You're serious. Have huh? you been to Moza yet? Who? Moza. Where's that? Uh, Highland Melrose. Nancy Silverton. Oh, the oh on on the um, on the, on the, on the uh, south west corner. That's right. Yeah. There's three of them. There's, the There's pizzeria, always a line the Osteria, outside. The, that's for the pizzeria. Osteria, you make a reservation, and then Kispaka is the grill, the Tuscan grill, where you get those bistecca fiorentinas. You know, yeah. the big thick steaks. Yeah. I'll take you. We'll go with our friend Pam Adler. Yeah. How's that? I, I'd love to do that. Okay. Do you, now, do you eat anything? Because I have to watch what I'm eating. You do. Well, you know, you have allergies, or I have I have diabetes. Okay, so you got to be careful. I don't eat, I don't eat a lot of sugar. Good, that's fine. We can do that. I like bison. Yes, it's very good bison. I like wild salmon. Excellent. Do you uh, eat pasta? No. Do you eat? Uh, Not right now. So you're eating fish mostly and Salads. healthy, lean red meat. Well, bison. Chicken? No, no, never. Never is N it. That's a diabetes thing? I think it's a cancer thing. Oh, goodness. Okay. All depends where you're, I guess it all depends where you're getting the chickens from, but most people who are eating chickens, it's not, it's, it's not chickens running around in a field. So you want your free-range chicken? Well, they, even that, when they say it's free-range, is not really free-range. Right, I heard they that. They walk five feet, and they call it free-range. I heard that they are technically allowed to call a chicken free-range exactly. if there's a small hole at the back of the coop. Yeah. And the coop can be thousands of chickens, and it, a chicken can spend his whole life and never see the hole. Yeah. And I think that's, uh, they, you know, they, they give, they're given hormones. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, you do have to, you do have to, you know, I drive people nuts when I go in restaurants. I'm oh, like, yeah? Is it wild salmon? Yes. They're like, oh, yes, sir, it's wild. Yeah. You swear on your kids it's wild salmon. Yes. And they never swear on their kids. Oh, you don't want the farm salmon. Well, there's that, now they're saying there's another kind of salmon. Well, it's kind of farm, but it's in the sea. <laughs> it's another kind of salmon. <laughs> it's, it's tofu. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like salmon. Yes, it looks like salmon. I had that once in the Chinese restaurant in New York years ago. They said, we have a special today. It's crab. Is it really crab or is it, uh, or is it crab substitute? He says, yeah. it's like crab. Yeah. I said, you could tell me if it's crab or not. And he wouldn't. He said, it's like crab. Do you think their owners... Tell them to just say whatever. This might have been the owner. Oh. Uh, I it, love like crab. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play some uh, music right now. This we is are? a song that's very apt to what we're doing. Yeah, do it. Phil Rosenfall, Feed Phil. Somebody Feed Phil. You know what? I, yeah. haven't, I haven't looked at it yet. I've, I've flicked. What the hell am I doing here? I've flicked <laughs> past it a bunch of times. Oh, that's, a, that's very flattering. It's coming. 
It's coming soon, Phil. Wow, he's flicked past it a few times. If, all, if <laughs> only all my viewers were like you. It's coming. Wow, what an honor. Now I'm really going to look at it. You better. Next week. You better if we're going to eat. I'm telling you. Take it away, Sam. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS with my guest, Phil Ro- Rosenfall. Yeah, that's me. And you just heard the Emmy-nominated theme song of the show yeah. from Lake Street Dive. How many uh, ep- scene, uh, episode, uh, seasons? seasons well, we did one season on PBS, six episodes. It was called something else. It was called I'll Have What Phil's Having. And then Netflix picked up the show and changed the title to Somebody Feed Phil. And now we've done 12 of those. But all of them are available on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. And do you like doing it? What do you think? I don't know. Well, oh, Some that's right. You things. haven't seen it. Yes. It, yes. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, that's if you it. Haven't, if you've seen it, you see I have a very good time. Because okay. why? I'm traveling around the world and eating. It's not a terrible thing. You've probably got a lot of the viewers now because the other bloke died, right? Would that, does that help you? You're like my Bourdain. father. You're like my father. He's like, oh, this must be good for you. It's it must be t- good for you. It's not. It's not good for anybody. He was a superhero. He was my idol. He was phenomenal. No one can ever take his place. You know what? Yeah? I never saw one of his shows either. Why am I talking to you? <laughs> what? Have you seen television? Oh, yeah. Have you seen the other show I did? You probably don't even know what that is. Raymond. Yeah. Have you seen that one? Honestly? Where, where's my publicist? <laughs> Why the hell would I come and talk to this guy? He, he, uh, it's all right. I never it's bought a, a Sex Pistols album. There you go. There you go. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> you guys were too scary for me. Well, we're not. that was a long time ago. But you were scary. Yeah, I guess so. What did you eat then? That's funny. Pie and mash. That's it? Fish and chips. Did you all like that? Did you behave yourself when you went to a restaurant, or were you, were you tearing the place up, depends, getting thrown out? Depends. How many... How many uh, were you drinking then? Oh, yeah. Were you doing everything then? Pretty much. I, it became that. It started out with booze and and blow and, and sleeping pills, but then it moved on to the heavy stuff. Wow. I've been clean and sober. Like no, 20, well, that's good. You look very good, years. I have to say. Thank you. don't you. look like... I wouldn't guess, oh, here's a sex pistol. Yeah. <laughs> when I when I met you, when I was coming out the toilet, you had a look like, who's this bloke? Yes, but I didn't say, oh my God, a sex pistol is coming out. <laughs> it's Thank out. God. It's Thank out. God. Thank God you put it away before you came out of there. <laughs> Although I got, I did, like I said, I did shake your hand. I didn't wash my hands. This is a terrible that's, day. That's because you put your hand up. What yes, was I going to? That's what I do. I know. I just I come out of the toilet. I would have hugged you. Thank God I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But your delight, and we have mutual friends. Look, your, your your engineer just gave me a handy wipe. Thank you very much. It's a bit late. It's a bit late. It is for a little late. Wipes. But uh, but life is good. I want to get my whole point of my show is yeah. to get you to travel because I think the world would be a little better if we all could experience totally... a tiny bit of someone else's experience. Maybe we wouldn't be in the bleep we are today. I think uh, that is. A great idea, but I, I think most of America, a lot of Americans haven't even left America. Right? Two thirds of us don't have a passport. Wow! Right? What, what's that? Is that half? What's two thirds? How do you get this job? <laughs> Saying stupid <laughs> stuff like this. <laughs> I, <laughs> but what is two thirds? I've never. What is that half? He said. Is he really? Is this the real guy? Is there another guy I'm supposed to be with? <laughs> Is this a pra- am he I in bloopers and practical jokes? He couldn't come in today, the other guy. The other guy. Yeah, he's at home. Well you're you're delightful yeah. in your ignorance. It's okay. Yeah. But what is two thirds? Just it tell is me. Two if you have it three How three many parts. In a, hole? a hole is three parts, right? If you divide a hole into three parts like a triangle. Right? Here's 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 one third of it. Here's another third of it. And here's the third third of it. So two thirds of that. But that don't make up a whole. What? That don't make up. 100%. Did you not take math in the sex pistols? I never you went didn't to school. To go- no school. I went, but I never learned anything. So you understand if you cut something in half, you have two parts, yeah, right? 50, so now 50, if you cut 50, something 50. into thirds, you have three parts. There's still one whole. You've just cut it in. Like if we have a pizza. Like a triangle. Exactly. And we cut it into three parts. 
Yeah, three pieces, two, two slices. Two of those pieces don't have a passport. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. That's most. Now why, That's most. Okay, now we got to the bottom of that. Thank God. Why do you think that is? People, is it like oh, America's? Uh, well, part of it has one. to be part of it has to be money, right? You can't afford to think about such things as traveling. Mm-hmm. It's uh, sometimes it's expensive. Although I'll tell you, when I was in my early twenty, when you were sex pistoling, I was going about on just the cheapest flights I could find because getting there wasn't the big deal. It was being there that was everything. Hotels. It was being there. Yes, you could stay in hostels. You can stay in pensiones. You can stay in bed and breakfast. You can stay in a, a friends of a friend's couch. Mm. Airbnb now. You can go very cheaply. The point is, when I was 23 and poor and went over to Europe for the first time, it was the best thing I ever did in my life. It's unsurpassed the first time you get there. You have your mind blown. When you started to travel with the band, didn't you love seeing other places, or were you too bombed out? To no, even no, know no, 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 no. In the early days, I was, we were all on the ball. Yeah. And the first place I went to, when I think I, it was, it was actually on my um, the first time I've been on a plane. Yeah. It, 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 I was like, it was. On, I think it was my twenty-first birthday. And we were playing in Paris. Yeah. We had a show in in Paris, and that was the first time I've been on a plane. I went to. France with a buddy of mine when I was like 15 we got a boat there yeah and it was a nightmare we just got into fights we were drunk uh-huh. and right and I stole someone's cameras and from the room next door I jumped over outside I was a I was a kleptomaniac uh-huh I just thought I'd let you know that you're right now though I haven't stolen anything in many many years where's my wallet it's that's gone <laughs> that's in the past let it go but so my point I'm waiting is for the good part of okay the story yeah my the good part was oh, look at this place Paris, it's 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 like it's like London but it's there's like more stuff you know, it was an experience. You should be a travel writer with this uh, description. I'm telling you, and you said wow, there's a lot I can pilfer here. I think that yeah oh definitely back then there's no cameras yeah, but but um, a lot of people in England have, yeah. have never left their town let alone gone down to London or, or gone up that's to exactly right Liverpool and so when you are like that you get set in your ways you get set in your in the way you think and that's why we have trouble yeah. if if we all yeah. could just experience a little bit of someone else's experience we would understand things better and we res- would understand ourselves better and, and respect where you're going of too. course not think you're the big i am and everyone should cater to you yes you've got to get in their groove yes it's very and, important and people don't be like steve don't steal yeah <laughs> be nice to be them. nice by the way if you go over and you're just nice you're just uh, as sweet as you are right now yeah you do a, a service you are an ambassador you represent where you're from you represent people from here, which we need. I think most people have got good hearts. It's, That's right. It's governments and uh, all by the, way, the other hit, stuff. You're hitting on something that I've said now many times in, in my travels. What I've learned are that most people around the world are so much better than their governments. Yeah. Yeah, it's designed that way, though. Is it? Don't you think to keep your like I guess so. each other it and shouldn't be, up? though. It shouldn't be. It doesn't have to be. I go to some places where I see they're doing things right. Like, have you ever been to Copenhagen? Yeah. That's like a utopia. You know, they, they've got uh, free medical care. They've got free college. They've got uh, the cleanest air, food, and water that you've ever seen. They're happy people. It's America's too big and powerful to be doing that, though. Pe- there's, there's people that make a lot of money from pharmaceuticals right. and health care. Right. And... All the rest of it. That will never happen here. So you think we're doomed? Well, I, I don't know if we're doomed. I mean, it's it's not looking good. It's, it seems to be coming to a, a pinhead, a, a spearhead. At yes, some yes. point, something's going to implode. Something's got to b- break. Yeah. But when it does, there's, there are examples of how to put it back together. Y- yeah, hopefully. Right? And, hopefully. I, and I'm, by the way, don't get me wrong. I'm, yeah. I'm not talking about whoever, whoever's in. Yeah. They're all the same to me. Uh-huh. All politicians are the same. Well, it's, some are a little worse. Yeah, but some, it's always the same agenda, and it's always palming someone's hand, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, it's helping out their pals. Well, it's uh, been the beginning. Something's got to give, like you just said, yeah. and once it does, maybe there's a better way. Do you think there'll always be enough food? No, 
I don't. I think that people have to get smart about it. They have to, you know, if here's the problem with the world. Short term goal thinking. If your attitude is grab it now, screw later, yeah. then guess what? You don't have a later. Yeah. Well, that's the way most people think. But doesn't have to be that way. The people who have thought a little bit in the future for their for the care of their forget about me. How about my kids? How about my grandkids? If you just think about them a little bit, then the world is better. Yeah. That's good, all. Good luck. Well, uh, you know, you're a little bit more cynical than I am, maybe. But I do see, because I've been around now, the world, yeah. I'm seeing the way it can be. There's still people. It's not like they have some magic, you know, makeup that makes them different than us. Everyone is the same. Yeah. We all want to be happy and healthy. We want our kids to be happy and healthy. We do. Most people want yeah. clean air, food, yeah. and water. Yeah, this yeah. is not a socialist agenda or a liberal agenda. This is a life agenda. Yeah. I'm, right? I'm with you there. So, so that's all. I'm with you. Not here to, to bring you down, people. I'm here to buck you up. There's a way. I'm here to say there's a way. But travel is one very good way to at least enlighten yourself, make your life better. It's not just that you're an ambassador when you go travel. It's that you makes your life better. You walked down the street in Paris, right? You were knocked out by how beautiful it was. Yeah. And then when you went back where you were, you had this new appreciation for what you have. Yeah. You know what my manager did? Yeah. On my birthday? Yeah. He got me some heroin and a hooker. This sounds like a very good manager. My manager <laughs> <laughs> forgot my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Should we play some music? Whatever you want. It's your show. Yeah. It's called the jukebox. I, I'm, um, it's called Jones's jukebox. Yeah. But he ain't here. <laughs> I'm the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play Led Zeppelin, Custard Pie, with my guest, Phil Rosenfall. I like Custard Pie. Feed Phil. Somebody. Take it away. <laughs> You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. That was Led Zeppelin, Custard Pie, and with my guest, Phil Rosenfall. He's got a split in a minute because he's got something more important to do. He's got to custard work, pie. He's got to work out. I've got a custard pie waiting for me. Yeah. Um, do you like custard pie? You can't eat that anymore. I, I love sugar. But you can't do it. No. No. And days are gone. Like you said, the older you get, the, the squeeze gets tighter, man. Yeah. Without a doubt. But I went to Thailand once. Yeah, we did a show there. Yeah. It was fun. Everyone goes to Thailand. Did you, you like it? <clears throat> well, I went there twice. Mm -hmm. And first time I went there, I thought I'd be like, yeah, I'd be down on the street with the street people. Yeah. And I ate this shellfish. I thought I was going to die. Man. Oh, I you got, got food poisoning. Major. Now, I eat on the street there. I eat in Saigon. I eat everywhere. I didn't get sick once. I come back to L.A. I have an unwashed sprout on a salad. I'm in the bathroom for three days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But, but I ate the street food. I think the key is you go, you look for a little line. You look for a line. And the, the right. reasoning is, if they were poisoning people, there wouldn't be a line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People don't line up for that usually. Yeah. But uh, listen, you can get unlucky anytime. Yeah. Well, I was definitely unlucky. Yeah. Um, have you been to India? Not yet. I'm dying to go. Yeah. That's that's also next. Do you like list. curries? I love it. I love curries. I love it. In fact, I'm going tonight to uh, a great Indian restaurant that just opened on Fairfax called Badmash. Have you heard of that? No. These guys have come from India by way of Montreal. So they have a unique twist on it. So you can get a chicken tikka masala poutine. And that's fantastic. Is there a line? Yeah, usually. They're very popular. They started downtown and they just opened the Fairfax branch. Yeah, yeah. I, lo I love food. I love food too. That's I why I'm here. I think I'm going to watch the show. I think you'll like it. Enough of the sw sw flinging past it. I'm going to stop on it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Now we're getting to now we're getting to the guy. Right? Yeah. That's good. Well, thanks for coming by. I love coming by. Now next thing we do is eat. Yeah. We'll find something that you can eat. Maybe we'll take our friend. We have a mutual friend, Pamela Adlon, from the show Better Things. Yeah. You've been on there. I've been on there once. Yeah. And uh that's coming back soon. She's one of my heroes. Yeah. Do you like this what what, what my, 
real quick, what made you get into this? The food stuff? Yeah. I don't know. I've just always loved it. And after I finished doing my sitcom, I found that the business had changed. Yeah. And so I beat my head against the wall for a while, and I realized if I'm going to beat my head against the wall, why not pick a wall I really, really, really like? Yeah. And so this food and travel thing has been with me for a while, that I've had this fantasy about doing it. It's just a life lesson. Yeah. Sometimes if you concentrate on the fantasy, you can make it come true. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, good luck, buddy. Thank you. We're going to uh, play some Neil Young, Cinnamon Girl. Oh, we love that. You're going to go to the gym. Yes. Um, Feed Phil is on Netflix. Somebody Feed Phil. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so you've got all this season done, obviously? Yes. There are there are 12 episodes of this show you can see now, and I'll have what Phil's having is another six episodes also on Netflix. Yeah. And you're going to do another one you don't know yet? you got to call Netflix and say, let's go. Yeah. Well, I'll have a look tonight, and I'll, I'll tell them, let's Good. go or not. Thank you. And see what they say. Thanks, Steve. Cinnamon Girl.